children man ready <clears throat> training you should all notice that you have a fucking hk416 with an m320 launcher it Note that the M320 launcher is the only one that you want ever to use ever. Why? Because the M203 launcher has the fucking iron sight leaf on the top of the Picantini rail. Which means I don't know where I'm aiming right now because I have a scope and also my fucking muzzle my fucking sight uh, to the fucking targets further away than fucking uh, 200 uh, meters, okay? It doesn't have automatic. It doesn't have automatic mode, I think. Uh, apart from that, it's a fucking M4 and it doesn't have automatic, but even automatic weapons, if they have the M203 launcher, do not use that. Always use any variant of a weapon that has an M3. Uh, 20. Doubt that one that you currently have because it's the best one. I mean, there's also a fucking Mark 18, I believe. That's also good. Um, yeah. Uh, so, in doubt, always fucking M320, not M203. I'll let me quickly switch to a fucking acceptable weapon. Okay. I do not have my grenades allowance anymore, right? No, I do. I do, I do, I do. Okay, good. So, grenades. We have two different types of grenades that the normal fucking grenadier should always be used. Uh, should always use. The HE grenade and the HED grenade. Note that the HE grenade... I'm gonna shoot at fucking 100 meters now. Has a much bigger fragmentation radius because all three targets from that line drop down. Then a HED round, which uh, has a little shape charge in it. Which only uh, has half the fragmentation radius, okay? Normally I have Red King out there as fucking test dummy. Um, the HED grenade, on the other hand. Has it much more easy to disable uh, unarmored vehicles or lightly armored vehicles like Humvees or fucking gases, okay? But it cannot one shot them. So, in doubt, as a grenadier, you will be fighting, you only have like 5 or so uh, HEDP and 20 HE grenades. Because you're an anti infantry class and the fucking splash damage of the HE grenades is fucking disgustingly big, okay? So, you can new cold fucking squads with a HE grenade. <clears throat> About uh, ranging, there is no ranging. Okay? You shoot? Oh, I aimed a little bit too short. Gonna zero, uh, aim a little bit higher now. Reload for four. I hit. Oh, I hit perfectly. It's really a grenadier. Fire until you hit. Because you can see where your fucking grenade splashed pretty easily. Because well, it's a giant ass explosion. splash damage just pump out fucking volume until nothing moves anymore okay it understood yes copy we have smoke rounds let me quickly mark the fucking uh, at 100 meters away that group of enemies Oh shit, the smoke bounced 20 meters further. That's why it sucks. 
Um, the good part is we do not have only normal smoke rounds, but with the 320 launcher, not with the 203 launcher, we have three GL rounds. So I can just load one of those three GL whites. And can very quickly dispense a fucking smoke screen uh, by just going and uh, three uh, smokes out there that will slowly dispense and then block the fucking vision. Um, yeah, uh, the those three GL rounds, by the way, are not. Uh, in any way like lighter or so, like normal smoke rounds, they w one 3GL round uh, weighs exactly as much as three normal rounds. So it's just basically like you stuff three different fucking grenades uh, in there, just that you can fire them at once with that one. Uh, also there's a fucking 3GL variant of the HE I believe. Yeah, the 40 wait a second, uh, the 40 millimeter three round HE grenade. Also uh, known as fuck you die. Okay, it's cool. And then we have flares. Flares have a maximum time that they can be in the air before the fucking parachute deploys and they then slowly uh, sink to the ground while illuminating everything around you. As you can see, the flare is slowly starting to uh, descend while illuminating everything over here. Well, give it a little bit. A little bit more. Come on, there we go. Now we can see clearly. At least somewhat. <coughs> if you have never fucking night visions, then it's useful, otherwise not. Uh, because in doubt, the enemy can now see you too. But you can use it as fucking signals. In the fucking night. So for example, if I pop a fucking green flare, that means fucking local objective, or can mean, uh, local objective is complete. So everybody on, of your friendly troops on the fucking island now knows that you have uh, completed your objective. That's especially useful if you have no fucking um, long range or something, and want to communicate uh, with other people f f very far away that have other operations. Like for example in Pakistan where the terrain is hilly and radios don't have that much range anyway. No fucking generals. So those things for fucking signals and illuminating if you have literally no fucking uh, night vision. Like for example if you play Obsess Insurgents. It's always nice to have a fucking flare to illuminate fucking enemies. But we advise the enemies can also see you then, right? Like, it's, it's a fucking two-edged sword. Two-edged two sword? Double-edged sword. Um, the last round from the Americanskis is the Hunt IR round. The Hunt IR round is a little drone on a parachute that flows by the way with the wind direction to see the wind direction press shift k you get in the top left corner of the screen then a fucking little arrow um, also to uh, access the hunt ir self interaction equipment activate hunt ir monitor you have to have a hunt ir monitor for that in your uniform or your plate carrier
those things uh, can get night vision by just pressing N. With the fucking arrow keys on your keyboard, you can steer the fucking camera. With A and D, uh, with A you can zoom out, with D you can zoom in. And with W and S you can switch between all Hunt IR rounds uh, that are currently uh, in the air. Which are currently only two. Even if it's not yours. Like, if you all open the uh, Hunt IR right now, you can see mine and whoever shot it already. Uh, it's Hunt IR, from their perspective. Looking around with the arrow keys, zooming with D, uh, zooming out with A, switching with W and S. Is it done with that? Everybody okay with that shit? Yes. Cool. Let's do make it day again. So. Oh, no, no, you. Okay, no. Mind. So, next, let's get a fucking AK with a GP25 launcher. And then as ammunition we want the VOG-25, the VOG-25P, the VG-40TB, and the GDM-40 White. Okay. We're gonna repeat that real quick. VOG-25. VOG 25P, VG 40TB, and GDM 40 White. The Russians do not have the Hunt IR. Just saying. Do you have the attention of everybody again, or is there such an uh, equipment? See more. Right, okay. So, VOG is a fucking HE grenade. The same stats as every fucking HE grenade. Okay. You can see, pretty nice for reloading. Very nice explosion radius. Well, uh, also note that they have a fucking timer. So if you shoot that, like normally, uh, fucking grenades have, uh, they, they have a fucking security, uh, I'm sorry, a minimum of flight time before they explode. So if you fire them, for example, in your friendly, they will not explode, like if you're standing right in front of you. Um, those grenades here, are uh, HET, which means they have a timer, which means they explode after self-destructing ammunition. Uh, they will explode after like 20 seconds, so if you misfire the shit into a fucking door, you better clear the fucking room for 20 seconds, or uh, longer, a minute. Um, before, uh, because at some point, just random fragmentation will appear, even without the fucking explosion, so everybody will uh, ask what the fuck was that. So, then we have the VG, VOG 25P round, which is basically like a small version of the Type 69 Airbus. Let me show you. I'm gonna fire the 200 meter light. 250? 250. And we saw how it exploded in the air, right? Cool. That's also a fucking bouncing Betty grenade. I know that it has a minimum range for the bounce because it has to hit uh, in a very steep angle the fucking earth so that the, the spring can bounce it up into the air again. 
And the last, uh, sorry, the second to last round that I'm gonna uh, tell you about is the VG40TB. TB stands for thermobaric again, so you can see it even, it has another texture than normal explosions. Like everybody can see that little fireball. Oh, fuck. Loading. Fireball. Also, uh, it's not as effective, obviously, as the fucking RHSG, RSH, RSHG2, or the fucking uh, TBG40, oh, sorry, the TBG7V, from fucking, from the RPG, because it's well, a smaller warhead, but if you fire the shit into a fucking room, the hallway behind the room is then also clear, okay? And the last one is the GDM-40, which is a fucking airburst smoke grenade to dispense concealment quickly. Okay? So, so-called fast smoke. Note that it doesn't hold for that long, though. Like, it's always uh, dispersing itself again. And that's basically all. If you want to train fucking ranging grenades, just make yourself a fucking editor file because there's literally nothing but exercise that I can teach you about fucking ranging grenade and don't just pick a fucking range finder out look for it and then act accordingly then just fucking... yeah, how's it called? Winchester windage or Kentucky windage Kentucky yeah. yeah, sorry I had a short brain fart there and that's basically it. It took you long enough, you little fella. Goff. I got other shit to do, mate. What oh, shit do you have to do? Who was it on Lolo and fucking you, right? Military exercise, military exercise, military exercise. Hmm. Ain't a fucking burning victim. What was the last one? Uh, medical emergency. Just playing out for the degree burn. Do you have a fucking real as fucking sunny or? Oh, it like uh, it was um, a gas can that blew and I got third degree burn from it. It's a setup. I know, but uh, what are you doing in real life? Like, your boys? Um, not <laughs> really anything. Like, but what are you currently doing? Like, are you in the, the, in the military or what? Not really. Fully, I'm just. Thing is, I'm more in uniform than one of the. Dedicated group, uh, groups. What are you? Uh, youth. Huh? Youth group, basically. You oh. meet up once a time a week, you have the basic uh, education. Oh. So basically, when I get into the first weeks of uh, military, I'm gonna be bored as fuck. Because I already know it. Mm. How old are you, Thor? 15. This guy stopped drinking, man. <laughs> I'm not drinking. Oh, 
the fucking I, voice I sounds. I older. Yeah, your voice sounds like a fucking thirty-year-old fucking alcoholic, man. <laughs> and by the way, guys, we're done here. Like I've, like I've given you the fucking two proficiencies for today. It's literally everything that we have to do today. I didn't hear a word you just said, Excel. Uh, I, I didn't say. Oh wait. Um, uh, by the way, guys, we're we're finished here. Like, we're turning to three, the shortest of them all. There's not much to tell you there. Like, there is no not b uh, big of a finesse to shoot someone with a 40 mic mic. There are also not many 40 mic mic rounds. All of those are pretty straightforward. Yeah, sorry, I missed like half the training there, Excel. It doesn't matter, I gave it to you anyway. Like, gravity is like, you shoot, that's it. There are HGDP say, rounds, yeah. don't use many of them. Uh, a quick note, like, if you are a grenadier, like, you are a grenadier, which means the only fucking eight magazines of fucking assault rifle ammo, and then you stuff yourself full with those fucking HE rounds, okay? You are a fucking force multiplier against infantry, so, kid up for it. If there's someone good. further, uh, closer than fucking 300 meters, you fire a fucking grenade at it. At, at least if it's many guys, okay? Because otherwise it's like, <laughs> have one for the mic mic for, for one fucking dude, it's, it's, it's not really the most efficient way to kill people. I, I hope you're making hunt I ass there. Oh, okay, I do. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I thought... <laughs> Do that. Uh, also, if you haven't noticed, uh, the thing I can f dump fire the fucking javelin can't. Uh, so it's, uh, it's with the eagle, by the way. And one thing, if you shoot the fucking parachute of the Hunter AR, it falls quicker. Also note that uh, a fucking grenadier shot is always loud, even if it's like a fucking uh, Hunter AR shit like that. The plop that it makes uh, can be heard from far away, because it's basically like a fucking drum hit. And uh, drums can be heard over three kilometers in the fucking real life. Three without no problem. Yeah. yeah. Oh. Have, you, have you ever in the fucking proximity of a fucking renaissance fair or something? Oh. I, I have one in my fucking uh, c city where I was born. Like every two years in the fucking uh, historical um, oh, old town. Those cannons. Uh, no, not cannons. I'm talking about normal fucking parade drums. Like oh. those things that have like 30 uh, centimeters diameter. You can hear those from the other side of the fucking town. And now that I think about it, it's maybe more than three kilometers then, because I can hear them loud and clear. So it should be around five. And I guess armor is pretty fucking... Um, please don't do that. Armor is pretty fucking uh, generous there in terms of how far they are. I can hear that, because the maps are only 20 clicks long or so. So... If you fire one in the middle, basically everyone in the knows, uh, map knows what's going on. Uh, if it would be realistic. I don't know if you guys know about this, but the Chiapa Rhino, you can put a suppressor on it and um, there's no sound. I can, I can hear a little bit of a sound though, but not the firing, more like the fucking drum action of the yeah. drum. It's not good. Okay. Uh, stand by for fucking mission restart. <laughs>